give that part away today. You can get the book and decide it yourself whether you like that, that argument. But what I will do today is to um, is talk about not the divergence here, but, uh, but an important connection between the histories of urban segregation in the US and South Africa. Um, that one, and it's one that linked both societies to Europe and above all to Britain. And those connections were created by the near global flows of people, ideas, money, legal precedents, institutional structures, and segregationist practices that occurred within the, 19, the growing 19th and 20th century global capitalist market in urban real estate. The goal here is to fill two gaps in historiography in South Africa by treating the real estate market as a fundamentally important part of the story of segregation, currently it is not, and uh, in part, um, uh, and in the United States by underlining the transnational dimensions of something that's ordinarily thought of as kind of as a uniquely national 